Now this is the design I'm going to use for this project. Now this is a medium small size, you get two to a page. But you get various sizes and this is the A4 size. And that gives you an almost square design that is great for putting on the front of your cards or using. You've got all the hard work done for you. It's all nicely patterned as it were. Now this is an 8 by 8 inch card and what I do to make it to size, I position it over the paper, over the design and just take a pencil, mark across the top, cut it out and then you've got it perfectly to size. And I'm just going to stick that down on the top of my card. And because I've got a glue which is really good, you know, so you can position things, you know, you've got some, as we say, wiggle room. Uh, it's really good to place it, move it around, so you've got it exactly where you want it. So that's that. I'm just going to position this on the front. And you could do it that way. Or you could do it that way. And that's the way I'm going to do it. And I'm just sticking that down. There you go, there's the front of my card. How easy was that? You've got a lovely card base there to work on. Now, you can also, if you want, oh, I've stuck that the wrong way around, haven't I? No matter all I've got to do because it's giving me some wiggle room, is just peel that off, turn it around, and re stick it. That's a great thing with this glue. You, if you make mistakes, you can peel it off as long as you do it quickly. So there you go. It's the right way round now. See, even geniuses get it wrong. So there's my card. Now I'd have put uh, an insert in there using one of the background papers. But that's perfect for actually the basis for doing some designs on. Because it's so intricate, you don't need very much. What I've done here is taken a strip of silver card and just cut it so it can go down the middle there or you could have it going down the middle there or there. I, think I might put it there. Let's see what it looks like. A bit of glue. You put, could put double sided foam tape on the back if you wanted to and raise it up a little bit. I think what I might do is put it next to that blue strip and it gives me a double strip and just line that down stick it down I think that looks really nice and what I've also done is cut out one of the birds as you can see here and when I cut it out I left a white border all the way around and because this is such a beautiful intricate design I don't need much decorative interest on it but you know me, oh it's over the top and I'm just going to put it there simple and that's such a simple easy card to make and I've just blinged that up a little bit by adding some of the crystals flat back crystals, these are heart shaped 